Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another trade video. Uh, today I'm going to go over a day trade that I did make on Tesla stock. Last week I was short buys. Uh, didn't go so well on that trade, but today was a day we had our first red day in a very long time. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Tesla stock has actually doubled since last year, November. Uh, which is kind of like you could say like uh, November, December, like two months, like literally like in two, 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 two months and a half to three months is pretty much doubled, which is pretty insane. Uh, now, Tesla is approaching a one trillion dollar market cap uh, because it's so extended uh, in terms of the short. I felt like there was an opportunity to short on a pullback, uh, on a relief type of uh, pullback. Uh, so today I'm going to go over that trade, how I was able to, to short at what levels. Uh, why did I decide to short? Uh, where did I cover my, my position? I'm going to go all of the details now in today's trade. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. And also ask me any questions down below, guys. I mean, ask me any questions in the YouTube comments. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So let's look at Tesla. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, Tesla is pretty much doubled since the member. Uh, let me just zoom in. This is a, a, a six month chart of Tesla. If you guys can see 400 level here in uh, November 16. Now it's at over 800, 800 and actually $84 all time high. And we're in uh, January 7, January uh, 11. So it's pretty much double. It's pretty insane, guys. I guess I hope you guys understand how insane this is because Tesla, I guess you could say back in November was a $500 billion stock. Now we're talking about over $800 billion uh, stock, which is insane. Uh, the EV sector, electronic vehicle sector has been on a tear. Uh, we're talking about NEO, XPEV, and now Baidu is getting in. And I'm gonna talk about uh, another long-term play in my next video that I want you guys to, to learn about. Uh, so I'll be in my next video. Now let's go over today's trade. So again, the reason why I've been interested in a short on, on Tesla it's because, uh, again, it's so, so extended on the, uh, actually, if you look at the one-year chart, it's insanely extended. Uh, what I like to use to kind of determine uh, if, it's a, if the stock is extended is the Bollinger Bands and also the Stochastics. So if you look at the Bollinger Bands, it's actually already was trading above those Bollinger Bands, uh, which is a, a, you know, a very important indicator for extension uh, in terms of over getting overbought. Also, if you look at the Stochastics, it's above 80, also another indicator that it is definitely overbought. So it was just a matter of time before we got a, a pullback, a relief pullback. Excuse me, now, it didn't pull back how I wanted to. The trading date is not over, it could still sell off more. Right now, as you guys can see, Tesla's down 5%. Uh, here's another indicator right here, I don't know what place to see it, but it's down 5%. I was hoping that it could test at 800s, um, <clears throat> but it didn't get there quite yet. Not yet. It might still happen, but let's go over the intraday chart and how I day traded it. So, uh, first of all, I kind of want to show you guys, uh, the price action that we had on, um, on Friday. This is where I actually shorted, uh, Friday. I shorted the break of a uh, low a day, uh, pre-market uh, lows. And it squeezed me out. Uh, there was this article from, uh, this website called electric, that talked about how the $25,000 Tesla car may actually come sooner than later based on some application that Tesla made to uh, the Chinese government about uh, including a, uh, a, 25, a lower price car around $25,000 in their Shanghai Gigafactory. So that's the speculation right now. Again, we don't have no proof. Tesla has not um, uh, confirmed those, those, those speculation. But when that article uh, came down, came, uh, was released literally at the around the exact same time, I got squeezed out and not only me, but a lot of traders got squeezed out. But, you know, it felt like, uh, again, this move was just literally a short squeeze. Uh, we had a pullback, kind of like a blow off type of move. Um, and it literally kind of bounced off that this uh, 850 level and it kind of just started to kind of, uh, and it closed around 880s. But if you looked at after hours, that, that move was starting to sell off. Pre-market today, uh, Monday, uh, it, it was already below uh, yesterday, uh, Friday's close. So it technically was already red. Uh, what I was looking at pretty much, because it's, it's, it had like a little a double bottom today, <clears throat> I wanted to see if it could break 870. And if it goes green, that means it's going to continue to trend. But it didn't do that. 
it started to sell off again pre-market. It tested the, the uh, midpoint in 870 and it started to kind of sell off. And it literally broke up pre-market levels, pre-market lows, which is around 850s. Uh, so when it broke before below the, those that level, especially 850s or pre-market lows, um, I wanted to see if that could continue to, to sell off. Because as soon as it broke off, it kind of uh, pulled back. It kind of like there was some dip buyers. Uh, and usually I don't like to, to short uh, or go long right away at the open because the open is kind of like a 50-50. Uh, it's really, really hard to determine if the stock is going to continue to sell off. It opens if, if it opens weak like it did here or because sometimes it opens weak and all of a sudden it shoots back right up. So you definitely don't want to be in that trade, especially if you're short and get squeezed out at the open. Not something I recommend. Also, um, sometimes it, it opens strong and all of a sudden it reverses, you know, like in, an, in, like in three minutes. Uh, so, you also, <clears throat> excuse me, so you also don't want to be long and then get re reversed in that. So I wanted to wait. I wanted to be patient. So as soon as I saw um, this level, so I saw this low right here. And again, break of 850, very, very important key level. I wanted to see if it was going to hold that. So it did bounce uh, from this low and it started to test again 850, but it couldn't break above that. It could not break above that, uh, including the volume weight advantage price, which is this purple trend line right here. And my thought process, okay, so if it breaks a new low, I'm going to get in. I'm going to short because uh, that confirms to me that, hey, uh, there's not enough buyers to break over this wall of, of sellers at 850. So I did short and once it broke the, the low of day, which is around 8.37, uh, I went in short. In my thought process, I'm gonna cover some here around 8.20, uh, mid 820s or 8.28, and also some at the S1 pivot level, which is a very important support level. So I did cover some, I raised my stop above here in the first cover, and then I covered the next shares here at the S1 pivot level. So I was pretty much covered the majority of my shares already by this time. I did have a little bit of shares on, on you know, on hold uh, that I kind of wanted, that kind of decided to keep here at the stop right here because I felt like uh, there was still a possibility for a bigger down move just because Tesla's up so much uh, that a bigger down move is definitely warranted. Uh, again, it's still just down 5%, but I was looking for hopefully it could be down 10%. That's what I was really looking for. Uh, but again, I put my stop above that and my next target level was going to be the S2 uh, pivot level. Um, I even had a, uh, what do you call it? A, um, I even had another uh, buy order to buy a bounce, you know, an S2 uh, pivot level. But the bounce actually happened on the S1 pivot level. So, again, not all these bounces are perfect and not all these covers are perfect. And so, again, trading is about having a thought process, executing your process, and then covering and then managing your risk. Uh, because again, no day trade is 100%. Not every single day trade is gonna work 100% as planned. Uh, so uh, again, I was hoping for an, uh, a wash or a sell off to, for a bounce in S2, but we got it at S1. Um, and then I eventually did get stopped out here at, uh, at my, 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 uh, my stop level, which is around 840. Again, it was a small amount of shares. Um, and actually, I decided to short again because I felt like this level here, 843, was going to be a, a pretty decent resisting line, a resistance line. I didn't want to get stopped out at the level that it's going to probably sell off. So I decided to kind of short the same amount of shares that I got stopped out. And my thought process, okay, I'm already up pretty nicely. I'm already up pretty big. Um, my stop is going to be high day. If it breaks high day, then I'm out. Again, I'm still going to be profitable even if I get stopped out because, again, I'm only going to stop out on, on the, a small amount of shares that I did not cover. So uh, that was my plan. And, you know, guess what? Tesla decided to keep going up and trendy. So, uh, which not surprisingly, but it happens, you know, I mean, I got stopped out in my last amount of shares. Again, overall, I'm still green in the trade. I still made a really, really good profit right here in this, this move. This was just a small amount of shares that I had left over. And I was hoping for, for, for this uh, 843 to kind of hold and reverse back down, but it didn't. Uh, I did get stopped out, and unfortunately, I got stopped out at the high of the day, uh, and it helped. So now it's kind of trending down below. It's kind of consolidating right here, and it decided to trend, and now it looks like it may break 830s. So right now, my thought process is uh, I, I do, I, I am kind of, uh, you could say, uh, still hoping that it could sell even more, uh, more like a 10% down move. 
Um, if it does test the, the uh, S2, I may actually go for a bounce on S2, S2 level. So that's something that I'm looking at. Uh, but overall, I still made a pretty decent trade on the um, first red day type of trade. I was still profitable, even though I got stopped out of the last little bit amount of shares because I was looking for a bigger move. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, S2 bounce, if it continues to sell, and it, uh, I may uh, go for a long trade uh, on a bounce of the S2 level uh, for a quick uh, scalp on that one. So that is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about this day trade, feel free to ask them down below in the YouTube comments. Again, overall, guys, I am still a long-term investor in Tesla stock. I still believe in the company. Overall, the EV sector is very, very hot, um, especially now that there's a new administration that is pro-friendly in terms of environmentally friendly type of companies. Uh, so I think uh, this is trend is gonna continue. Again, any questions about the trade, don't forget to ask them down below in the YouTube comments. You guys will hear from me soon. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. Have a good one, guys. You guys will hear from me soon.